Welcome my viewers to the magic behind the channel. This is the channel where we show you magic of electronics. We teach you about electronics components and show you how to use those components to make working circuits. You can make these circuits either for school projects, for fun, or even for business. In my previous video, I showed you how to make seven channels LED chaser. But in today's video, I want to explain to you the diagram which is in front of you. I show you where you should start and how you should end making this circuit. This is a circuit board I'm holding. As you can see, it's very similar to the diagram. The only difference is that uh, the terminals the chaser terminals are on the diagram, they are on the right side, but on the on the circuit board itself, it is in on the left side. I want to, to take a few minutes to explain to you how you should start. The first thing to do is to insert the IC holder. This holder and uh, the holder is under this IC and the other holder is under this IC as you can see on my board the, this is the holder this is the IC itself the holder and the IC itself when you put the IC holders the second thing to do is to join these 6 and 5 pin 6 and 5 on the bigger IC, you join them first. And by joining, as you can see this one of mine, this is number 15, this is number 6. You just find a, a wire, you come and join. Yeah, now it's, you can see it clearly. This is where the joint is. Up to there. When you join this, you now need to join pin number 14 on this bigger IC and pin number 3 on this smaller IC. And for me, this is the pin number 14 on the bigger on the bigger IC and the, for the smaller one the pin number 3 is this one I've joined them using this jumper wire the white jumper wire when you do that you need to come to the smaller IC you join pin 6 and pin 2 and also you join them to the VR or to this line here. On this, I don't know whether it's be it should be very clear. This pin one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're supposed to connect pin six here, pin two, sorry, pin six, pin two. Then it comes here to the variable resistor. This is a variable resistor here. You join that pin here. 6, 2, and to that variable resistor. When you join that, you need to come and connect pin 7 to the end there. After you have done that, now you need to note that you are not actually soldering on the IC itself. You are soldering on the IC holder. As you can see here, we don't have an IC, but we have the IC holder. Those are the pins. So that by the time you complete the whole circuit, you just come and insert the the IC on the IC holder and the connection will be all right. 
when you do that, if you are not using a printed circuit like me, you need to find a wire. You, uh, you can take like this jumper wire, you remove the coat, you remain with the copper. You come and uh, stretch it from this end up to here and you solder it. That will be now this. It will be this black line there. The same case you do with, with the lower part. So that when you make these internal connections, then you will come and look for pin number four to join it there. You look for pin number eight, you join it there. You look for pin number 16 on the bigger IC, you join it there. Then you come to the lower side, you look for pin number 13, you join it to the negative side. Pin number eight, you join it there. Pin number one on the smaller, you join it there. Then after you have done that, you take your components. This is one ohm resistor, you put it there. This is where, as you can see, these are the positive side. But the negative terminal will be common for all the LEDs. That's why on this of mine, this is the negative common terminal. For the positives, I've pulled them up to here. In my previous video, I've explained to you how to count IC things so you will not have a difficult time counting IC things. You can refer to the, that video and you'll be able to understand better how to count IC things. When you have done that, you put the components one ohm resistor, one ohm resistor, electrolytic capacitor. Then you come to the other side, you put center resistor. Where you have a joint, I have uh, shown it with a black dot where you need, you need to solder. Then uh, one mega ohm variable resistor, it has three pins. So that one pin, second pin, and third one. You put the ceramic capacitor. After you have done all that, this is where the power will be coming in. And the power we are getting it from AC to DC rectifier, positive negative when you have done all those other connections take your ic's this you insert on the circuit then you put power your circuit if you have followed all the diagram very well and correctly and you have soldered everything in place it should work the question which i'll give you is that if you leave for example you forget to put an electrolytic capacitor and you put power Yes, the IC will flash just once, then it's off because you'll have uh, caused these two ICs to get spoiled or to burn. So before you put power, make sure all the connections are okay and uh, you are not missing any of the components. If you miss one, it will spoil the ICs. Also, make sure you don't do any short circuit you can get injury, injury out of um, a bad connection or short circuit. So be very careful. Another thing I want to tell you is that do not touch any part of the circuit when the power is on. Please do not touch any part of the circuit when the, the power is on. Whether this circuit or the other circuit of the LEDs, do not touch any part of it when the power is on. Thank you so much. I know that video will be of uh, helped you when making this seven channels LED chaser. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel by clicking the red subscribe button below this video. Also clicking the be on the bell icon so that every time I upload a new video, you will be notified. Also give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends who you think they may be interested. And also on the comment section below, ask me any question in regard to this uh, circuit and I'll be so glad to answer you and to interact with you. Once again, thank you so much. See you in the next video.